Another use of using point slope, maybe you will come in a situation where I'm giving two points. Now I want to find out what's the equation that goes through two points. Now let's just graph those, those lines just so we have an idea what we're talking about. So there's a rough get or a, a real quick sketch of where that graph will be at. So what's the equation of that line? Well, we can use point slope to find that out. We need to have a point and we need to have a slope. Well, we have a point, but there's no slope. But some of you are remembering, well, Willie, wait a minute, if you have two points, you can determine a slope. And that's right. Change in my y's over the change in my x's, or y2 minus y1. So let's say 6 minus a minus 3 over a negative 2 minus a 4 equals 9 over a negative 6 or a negative 3 halves. So now I have a slope of negative 3 halves. I have a slope and I have a point. And again, in fact, I have two points. So I can go back and use a point slope form with this slope and I can choose any one of those points because both points are on the line. It won't matter which one I choose. So we can choose this one. Let's designate this one as my x1 y1. So I'll have y2 minus y1 equals my slope, negative 3 halves, times x2 minus my x1, which is a 4. And again, since there's only one set of x's in here, the 2's, I can eliminate the subscripts. So I have y plus 4 equals minus 3 halves x. Minus 3 halves times a negative 4 gives me a positive 6, add 4 to both sides, y equals negative 3 halves, plus 2. And there's the equation of this line that I quickly sketched. And it looks roughly the same. I would go with this one, obviously, because this one tells me across that 2. So I was close to making it that one, that I have a slope of over 2 and up 3, or down 3. Over 2 and down 3. So. My quick sketch was indeed fairly accurate, but that's another way that you can use a point slope form equation of a line.